Oh man. All right. Later though. Later. Uh. Okay. Cool. We're going to Ellie's parents. According to local legend, if you walk around the orrery three times, your corporate rival will die of a paper cut. <laughs> your corporate yeah, rival died of a paper cut. All cleaning jobs have been completed. Oh 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 oh! Oh shoot! I just stole. No! Don't catch me. Hortense yells at me about vagrants. One more. All right, just sold all the junk. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and area analysis, squeaky clean. I'm thinking of that. Uh, whoa. I'm thinking of that, uh, the Imperial City in Skyrim right now. This, like, round city reminds me of that. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial-grade cleaning solvent and desperation. I could shrink them. lemony fresh. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. That one was Oblivion. Yeah, the imp the... No. Yeah, yeah, it was Oblivion. And in my, in my mind, I was imagining uh, Morrowind for a while there. Yeah, it was Oblivion. Marilyn, is that you? Mars, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. Oof. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. <laughs> Spit on the floor. Puh! Fancy place. I'll probably be taking a few things with me. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. <laughs> anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Theft, vandalism, profanity, you name it, we've done it at least twice. Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll leave when we're good and ready. You tell him. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch. Where are Chat, there's gonna be some huge twist. Like, some guy was here for a marriage interview, or they just found out her brother died, and they're in mourning. Like, so, there's gonna be some something that makes me feel really stupid at the end of this. Outside shoes all over your nice floors. Uh, I apparently don't have one perception. <laughs> Keep going, Ellie. I like where this list is headed. Just a second. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. <laughs> not for lack of people trying, believe me. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Uh, wait, <laughs> perception. Why do I get the feeling you guys are about to apologize for something? We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. Did they collect insurance we money for her? on your life insurance policy. And then they and bought the new floors. Have been rather uh, substantial. Oh my God! You what? Talk about making lemons slap at lemons. What vulgar company you keep, Marilyn? <laughs> well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. 
For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Hmm. Well, tell him Ellie's back. You'll be the talk of the town. That's the other problem. We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? Okay, I I really want to convince Ellie to go outside and like start firing her gun in the air and be like, "Yeah, I'm Ellie, the daughter of these two, and I'm alive and causing trouble," and then just like run off or something just to ruin their life and their floors. <laughs> I'll have you know that Ellie is a professional miscreant. Shh, someone could hear you. <laughs> We concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of 12-inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and <laughs> broke your neck. What? It was quite the story. What? People were talking about it for They convinced the world that her, their daughter died because she had Spice Girl shoes on, chat. Speaks. <laughs> That's a pretty funny story. Hey! <laughs> You're supposed to be on my <laughs> side. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. If you really knew your daughter, you know quiet is not in her vocabulary. <laughs> hmm. She hasn't changed a bit, I see. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. I don't know about you, Ellie, but I'm ready to cause a scene. Let's just get out of here, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. I'm taking this. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Nothing at all. Whatever I want. Yeah, you sit back down. Sit down. Yeah, you sit in that chair. I'm gonna take his wine. I'm gonna drink it right in front of him. What do you think of that? Hmm? Hmm? So I thought. I told him I was taking stuff. Why am I still talking like this? All this, all this. Taking your rum, taking cigarettes. I don't even smoke and I'm taking your cigarettes. Yeah. You want some some youth in Asia? I have some youth in Asia here. Forgot I had this. Oh, hold on, I'm talking to your daughter. Let's talk outside. Let's talk right here. Let's talk outside. Let's talk right here. Let's talk outside. Oh my god, freaking women. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Tiger. Hey, James. What's up, buddy? It's not the best choice. It's the best I've choice. done plenty of smuggling runs, but this thing with the chemicals is bold. Can you believe those two? We'd hardly been there a minute, and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. Hmm. Uh, how did you think that would go? I thought they'd be scandalized. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid Aetherwave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, <laughs> and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Paid for with Father your insurance life money. Glasses and blink open mouthed. This is a very specific fantasy. <laughs> Shh, I'm getting to the good part. <laughs> I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? I'm using that at work. 
Wait, I work from home. I'm using that in my home. Intimidate 40. How about, it's payback time and I'm collecting with interest. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one day. <laughs> now, getting back to my story. Father would throw his hands up because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. Then, Mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. Oh. Uh. You're really hurt, aren't you? I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted, even. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. That sounds familiar. I hope you don't think I'm talking about this because I want to be introspective. Mm -mm -mm. This episode reflects on them, not you. But I want to talk about me now. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Oh my gosh, freaking... This is all like fortune cookie crap. You can learn something from this. It's up to you to determine what that is. Can I just have a drink and punch some poor defenseless pillow instead? Anyway, I don't want to sift through fun. this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something <laughs> hey, about Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? <laughs> Keep talking. I could open a new account. Designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. Uh, how? My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills. Oh, I have those. Set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that Sounds more like work, a hacking thing, I'm though. I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. There you go. That's a hacking thing. All right. Hey, Chat, y'all ready for Tell some insurance fraud? Command not recognized. Ugh, fine. Tell any joke. Please repeat the instruction. Get screwed, Sam. Request is invalid. Out with it, you wretched contraption! Uh, da, 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 da. People skills, you just spit all marble vo- Ah, but I tricked them into thinking I had no people skills. By using my people skills. Silver tongue. Dude, I've gotten out- I got out of a spaceship battle earlier by just tricking them into thinking I was on their side. And I told them that was their boss and to get out of here. They listened. What a bag of chips. Uh... Is this one to do it? The soul letter in this mailbox addressed the curator Halcyon ensures your satellite office is fall for the planet Mars. Uh, okay. I want to do this. This quest is the most fun one we've done in, like, the last hour. Other than watching that spaceship crash, that was pretty good. Uh, and then your people still threaten the old man to sit down while you show the bottle of wine in one another second. Is nice. Dude, I threw if that bottle back. in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send... We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Alright, we need to sleep. And I told him I was taking what I wanted. I even intimidated him into sitting back down. I'm just gonna tear off some meat with my teeth. Wait, I'm still hungry and I'm still thirsty. How is that possible? I'll eat more meat! Good luck, Captain. Thank you. You're the winner here. We're all winners. 
wiener wiener chicken dinner. Still thirsty, still more wine. That's not much of a thirst quencher. I had to drink that water. Yo, there, that reminds me of that guy earlier. It's like, let me buy you a drink. And it's like, you receive glass of water. And I was like, you freaking cheapskate. What is this, Chick-fil-A? Let me buy you a drink. Slides me a water. Uh, so that's how we finish. Okay. Wait, I have a. Oh, dang it. In the random hours of the night puts a damper on the mood. Is that a lot? Oh, that's just this mail in working on some fella who can't pay his debt. So noted. My check will be balanced by the afternoon. Wait, what? What is going on? Do I have to reload I heard it? Sometimes when the tunnels get infested, she feeds into the Oh, it worked! It's just for a second. It does shrink them though. This looks like a place. The red Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness Wait, of mind. Wait, negligence doesn't get you insurance? Dullness of mind? Some people, but no one in this office, I assure you, might call it stupidity. <laughs> it's like they say, there's no cure for that. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. Get it, chat? Uh, I need to change the beneficiary on Marilyn Fenhill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. That's the young social... She's on another net, planet. Right? You remember her? Of course no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. You're a that claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. There was no body. Oh? What else can you tell me? Are you serious? <laughs> well, we interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. Hey, those are entirely made up. Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. How would I amend that claim? You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Okay. How will I change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room. <laughs> this is so that stupid. That contains data on all our policies. And you'd, theoretically, add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. <laughs> She. Oh. All right, chat. It's time. It's time to wear the bloody coat. You'll do this, or you'll be filing your own claim. Please, my policy only covers paper cuts and wrist strain. <laughs> Very well, I'll do it. But then you've got to go. Confrontations like this will raise my premiums. <laughs> I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill. If you say so. The payouts will flow exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. Ah, uh, That's all for now. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. Ah. Uh. How does it feel? I've never been prouder to stand back and watch someone else work. <laughs> I'm just glad my folks aren't going to live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Sounds awful. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What are you going to do with all those bits? Come on. I thought we were celebrating. <laughs> you want me to think about the future? Mm, why not? Maybe you haven't noticed, but you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. What's the point of planning for anything around here? That's the kind of thinking that's running this place into the crapper. Hate to say it, but Halcyon's already there. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me. 
So here's your fee. Framed insurance check. Thanks. That's one thing I appreciate about you. Things are simple, straightforward. A job's a job and that's it, right? I mean, I enjoyed spitting on your parents' floor and drinking the wine while jumping up and down on your dad's knees. Uh, da, 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 da. If you say so. Hey, I get it. If anything, I respect you more now. You know, I'm thinking I ought to find another gig once this one's all done. After I started that sentence, I felt like knees was the safest way of uh, phrasing it. One I don't know. Where I can really work on my own? <laughs> Viking, no, it is not what happened. Uh, oh, I could have said on top of your dad's sofa. All right. You sure about that? Easiest way to take care of myself is to work with the one person I trust the most, right? Anyway, enough chit chat. All right. Okay, what's next? Uh, uh all right. So get Parvati. And then go to Byzantium. Sofa is an innuendo. Okay, let's get Ellie and unequip her gun. Go to Parvati and equip the gun. Go over here and get second round. Okay. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you... Oh, that one again. You anticipate this. It's awesome. Alright. Let's see about preparing Parvati for her date night for her stuff. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Don't make it weird. <laughs> this load is taking a while. Come on, Byzantium. Okay, I was starting to get nervous. That thing was crashing on me. Uh, gotta eat and drink. Oh, still thirsty. Mmm. Purple berry juice. That's the wrong way. Oh, that's right. This was like a really long elevator. How dumb. <laughs> Mug, maybe sell all food you know you won't use and buy more water. I've got like Thirty sugar drinks to replace water right now. It's fine. I can still carry hundreds of more pounds of stuff. I'm not gonna stress about it right now. Well, I think that's uh, our fancy outfit. For Parvati's date. It's Spencer's choice. Jadaquer's haberdashery. Oh, Jadaquer's. This is where Ellie supposedly got her 12-inch heel shoes. You with the hips. That killed Over her. Here. Let me take a closer Did look. Did she just say you with the hips? Chat. It's rare that I'm addressed in a game the same way I am in real life. Hmm. Ah ah ah. Oh God, Don't the lipstick. Speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. Yes, thank you for noticing. The way you rest your weight against your hip, 
suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Gur, baby, gur. I love it. That's me, rugged and well-traveled. Ah, uh, Celeste, you've done it again. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that I'd found my muse. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Mm, yes. It's like you read my mind. Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. That was like three seconds I'm ago. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock Shat my brutish swagger. Core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Count me in. Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed <laughs> madmen of Monarch dress themselves? In I've dirt. heard rumors, but I require samples. Also... I expect you to model for me. I want to bring back samples of the wild-eyed madman. Just chunks of flesh. It'd be like, you weren't specific. Hmm. Any excuse to admire my looks, huh? I can't blame you. Oh, you can You'll be the talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast. The armor of a marauder. And a full ensemble of spacer oh, gear. Oh, this sounds like a quest I won't finish. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. It sounds like a pain. None of garbage spacers choice pedals. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. You're going I to know, absolutely I know, but not a born fetcher. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. Muck, I got. Hob I is. Uh, my engineer is going on a date. She needs a fine outfit. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Uh, I am no such thing, ma'am. <laughs> Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing and copyright. There. Mm. Oh, persuade or intimidate. <laughs> Fees for licensing and copyright? Cut the bullshit. Show me a fair price now. Captain, please don't do this again. Aren't you a brute? No. If you're in luck, darling, I enjoy a brute now and again. I thought you they might. shake things up. Create the unexpected. Go, baby. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Hmm. I guess we can swing 3,000 bits. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. From broke to bespoke. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Ah. Uh trade wait what i what trade oh wow okay that's weird oh glasses 84 oh mine is stealth i really don't want to sacrifice the oxion 
Determination plus five. Hmm. Whoa. I didn't mean to jostle your register. So many shirts. Okay. Now what? Speak to Parvati. Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can... I just have to actually do it now. You know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only oh carry them big Oh my god, and I'm ships, going to buy it for like you, right? Hope. Parvati, making every little thing perfect won't change your feelings. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Thank God. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll oh, she's doing it. Send you a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. You better be. Good Lord. All right. Let's see how it goes. She spent like a lifetime's worth of money on this venture, on the food. We went to like five planets to get ready for this Some date. Some members are causing a Dead center. Next round's on you. Shh, the captain's coming. Put your gun away. Act casual. Oh, uh, um, yes. This'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep. Ain't no call for a closer inspection by anybody. <laughs> God, stupid. <laughs> uh, once more I get to see, check with her to see if she's. Oh, I gotta go talk to Parv. I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask her over. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. Hmm. Wait, what? You met the auto mechanical clanky around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad'd say. Your dad'd say. Uh, da, 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 da. Have you given him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without him giving you the okay first, you know? That's pretty much exactly how nicknames work. Felix. Huh. All right. To the ground breaker. We've arrived at the ground breaker. All right. Nap, food, date. Let's see. All that. All right. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? Where's the 3000 bit outfit I bought you? <laughs> You're okay. You look terrific, girl. You're gonna get it. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. God, what? Oh, oh, I meant. Examine? Sanjar donated this after you helped the MSI. What in the. Antibiotic Secret Lab? Courtesy of Auntie Cleo's abandoned lab and Rose. What the heck? I haven't been to my room in a while. It's full of trophies now. Mounted Manta, uh, Manta Queen head. What better way to establish dominance over an alien ecosystem than by hunting its most dangerous predator and mounting it on your wall? Borst Factory. Do me proud and I shall shower you with Borst Worst in gold. Cross me and I will serve your head on a silver platter of mushroom gravy. Uh, now that Zora's in charge, the Iconoclast have a fighting chance at surviving and spreading uh, the monarch. 